Welcome to Raw Vegan Secrets training number three. Today I'm going to tell you how to get your dream body without ever stepping foot into a gym. Yep, you heard me right. I'm going to tell you how. You guys have been super awesome with your comments and your interaction down below. Please keep it up. It really helps me so that I can give you guys the best content possible. And I really love hearing what you guys are wondering about, like your questions and your comments so that I can answer those questions and I can help you guys on your journey. So please continue to put comments down below. And today we are going to do a big Q&A session at the end. So stick around till the end and I will answer all the questions you guys have been posting in the group, on Instagram, on Facebook and in the comments over here. So keep posting them and I will keep getting to them. And remember to shut down your distractions, turn si turn your phone on silent, your computer, whatever. Make it so you can pay attention because I'm really trying to share things that can change your life if you pay attention. What we are covering today can literally be life-changing if you let it. As you saw in my previous case studies, this can be a complete transformation of your mind and body. You can become thin healthy, full of confidence, full of vitality, and able to fulfill your life's purpose. And then what we want in life is to, to live our best life and to get healthy and have vitality. So let me ask you a question. Would discovering how to become thin and healthy, to have confidence, vitality, and to achieve your life's purpose be worth focusing on for a few minutes? For me, it totally is. And that's why I'm taking the time tonight to be with you, to share with you my life's purpose, and that is to give you guys the raw vegan secrets. I'm super jazzed, you guys. We have over two hours of raw vegan secret training so that you guys can get started on your health transformation journey. And we're only halfway there. We still have two more trainings to go. I am so excited. Okay, check this out. From our last webinar, we had 150 people registered from over 20 countries. Crazy! Plus, we had some of my good friends. We had Kasha from Oklahoma. We had Hope from Florida. Ruth from South Carolina. And Christine, I know you're from the Midwest. I cannot remember what state, which is embarrassing because you're one of my best buds. I'm so sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> so if you're online now, please put in the comments that you're here and where you're from. It really helps me to know who I'm talking to if I can visualize who I'm talking to. It just makes it so much easier. Also, please make sure that you sign up for the Raw Vegan Secrets Masterclass Facebook group. You can click the link on the side or down below. It's it's just for vegan boss ladies, so it's totally a safe place. It's secure. I'm there. We're there. We're there to help and support each other. Also, sign or click the link to sign up for Facebook Messenger. You will get um, the instant text for when I have updates or when we're going live or when there's problems and we need to like correct things and links. That's where we send the information. So click that messenger to get signed up.
All right, ladies, can any of you guys relate to my health journey? I know mine's a little bit different because I've had so many kids, but creating that video was truly, it was emotional for me because I've never like seen the the progress through my life. You know what I mean? Not not like that because a lot of those those photos were actual, you know, printed photos that I had to like scan or take a picture of because we didn't get a digital camera until like my third child. And so to like see it side by side like that fast like that, I'm just like, wow. Oh, that was a painful health journey. And that's why I'm doing these trainings so that you guys can can reach this level. You can experience what I've been able to experience in a fraction of the time without all the pain and agony. So let's get on with the training. But real quick, let me remind you about the super secret segment at the very end. I have choreographed a two minute blueprint of the raw vegan diet. It's just for you guys. And it took me some time, you know, so stick around at the end and I'll show it to you. Plus we'll be answering all your questions. So put your questions down below. Plus I'll get the ones that were already posted in the group. All right. So today we are discussing how to get your dream body without ever stepping foot into a gym. So let me ask you a few questions. How would you like to feel euphoria? How would you like to have way more energy? What about actually getting results for all your efforts? So why hasn't this happened for you? Admit it. This is not the first time you have tried to lose weight or change your health habits. When you watch this training today to the end, you will discover how to exercise less and lose more. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Jocelyn Morris. I am Vegan Boss Lady. And not too long ago, I was just like you. Let me tell you a story about how I used to exercise two to three hours a day just to try to lose weight and get lean. I was really struggling with finding a way that to eat and exercise so that I could get to my ideal weight and, and stay there. In my efforts, I was getting more and more just depleted, exhausted, just, just emotionally, mentally, physically, just done. And I was getting nowhere. I was getting nowhere towards my weight loss goals. And I was completely miserable in the process. I was totally not enjoying it. Have you ever experienced this before? I bet you have. See, at this time, I was trying to lose weight and keep a lean physique by exercising a ton. And I would try to exercise so much that I would stay occupied so that I couldn't eat because I was too busy exercising. But then if you guys recall from my previous story, the bottom fell out from under me when I went to the doctor and she told me that my blood panel showed that I was starving my body and that I was causing potentially permanent damage, which meant that I could no longer have children. I knew I had to make a change. As you can imagine, when the doctor told me that, I was in bad shape and desperate. I was not ready to give up my dream of becoming fit and being happy. The problem was I didn't know how to exercise to lose the weight. I was exercising for hours on end and getting nowhere. And I thought that I had to starve my body because I wasn't making any progress. And that's not how we're supposed to live. When this all came, came about, I knew I had to make a change. The first thing I tried was walking hours and hours and hours on end, just walking with the stroller and the kids. But you know, that that's called skinny fat. That's where you, you can lose a little weight, but you still got all the jiggles and the wiggles. When the walking didn't work, I tried a half marathon. Now a half marathon in Tucson in August is just plain crappy. <laughs> I do not recommend it. It was so hot. I was sweating so much all the time. Like I had rashes everywhere. So I still didn't lose any weight. So it still didn't do me any good. I ended up miscarrying during that race. And I also had got some injuries from all the, you know, I wasn't used to running and I just went into running. So I got injuries to my body, which made it so I couldn't even do the things I used to do because I had these injuries now that I had to have heal. So then I tried doing hour long intense exercise videos with a low carb diet. Have you guys ever tried that before? Let me tell you, I was like an irritable zombie. I was ornery all the time. I had no energy and I was just, I am a, a very determined person and I just pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. It was like pushing against a brick wall. I was getting nowhere. So I was like, I got to push harder. So I would push my body harder and harder and harder and I still got nowhere. I mean, I would get minor results, but in the end, my health and my, my, uh, my overall vitality 
was at a standstill. So when I realized that all, that all of my determination and all my hard work was getting me nowhere, I realized maybe I should shift my focus, right? I was focusing on exercise, 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 and not necessarily my diet. And I kind of knew in the back of my head that, you know, maybe what I was doing for my diet wasn't that great, but I didn't know what else to do. And I was too scared to make that shift, to change, to learn. But then I knew when I was absolutely getting nowhere, I knew I had to make a change. I knew I had to focus my efforts on my diet instead of on the exercising, and that is when I got the results. And that's when I realized that it wasn't my fault. I was failing because of the lies that the health and fitness industry had been feeding to me. You know, the lies that you need to exercise more and eat less. Have you ever heard those lies? That mantra they keep telling us? Put in the comments down below if you've ever heard that. It's okay to admit that we've heard these lies because when we admit it, then we can fight it. For years, the health industry had been feeding to me that I needed to exercise more, eat less, and take all of their supplements in order to reach my goals. And when I finally figured out that this just wasn't true, I was able to break free and get the results that I deserved. The real problem here was the fitness industry. They were the ones who were keeping me from discovering how I could exercise less and eat whole plant food to lose weight. Once I realized that focusing on my diet and putting clean fuel into my body made all the difference, then I got the results I wanted and I got them fast. I used what I discovered to eat right, to exercise less, and to reach my, my, my skinny goals with the health and vitality that I really wanted. And I was able to become a happy, functioning, energetic person who can enjoy life. But as you guys know, it's not just me who's seen amazing results with the raw vegan diet. I'm gonna introduce you to another one of my friends. She is so amazing. Megan, would you mind telling us a little bit about your background and about your health journey? Sure. Um... I was cooked vegan for, um, I guess it's been almost six years now. In April, it'll be six years. And um, before that, I was just on the normal standard American diet. And then after becoming cooked vegan, I heard um, a lecture by two vegan authors at a local Whole Foods. And one of them mentioned the raw vegan diet and how she had done it for 30 days and how it was very transformative for her and she felt super connected to herself and nature and I just couldn't stop thinking about it and so a few months later I decided to give it a shot. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know any raw vegans. I didn't know about any like groups online or anything so I pretty much just googled raw vegan cookbooks, ordered a couple of the best sellers um, all of which um, I didn't know at the time were like what's considered to be like uh, gourmet, high fat, high salt, um, raw vegan recipes. And um, so I followed that for 30 days and I did eat some fruit too. Um, but even so, even with the high fat, um, I felt... Um, great. I, I attribute that mostly to the fruit that I ate, but I felt really, really amazing. And I just couldn't stop thinking about how wonderful I felt during those 30 days. And so then the next two and a half years I spent aspiring to fully permanently transition to raw. Now that you've got it down and you've been doing it for about a year, how, what is your diet like now? Now it's mostly fruit. I eat fruit all day until dinner. And then at dinner, I'll typically have a salad or a soup or zucchini noodles or something like that. But in some days, I still do fruit for dinner. Um, but it's mostly fruit. It's, I would say, 85 to 95% fruit, depending on the day. And the last 5 to 15% would be vegetables. Again, depending on the day. You got off the higher fat, higher salt version and you switched to the more fruit. What kind of results did you get? What did you achieve by doing that? Oh, there's so many benefits. Clear skin, improved digestion, improved elimination, improved sleep, weight loss, increased energy, 
increased athletic performance, no bloating. I just feel like the benefits are like limitless. They're just, it's incredible. Things, you heal faster, my allergies disappear, sick as often. Uh, it just, the list goes on. I'm sure I'm forgetting things, but there's just so many things I feel like has, that have come to me since starting to eat this way. You forget all the wonderful benefits sometimes when you're, when you've been in it for a while. Yeah, just get used to it. You're like, you do. Oh. <laughs> and I have written down like lists of all the things that when I don't eat raw, all the, the bad things that I experience. So that when like, I'm like, well, why am I eating raw again? And I look back at that list and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I had all those problems. And they're that's a really good idea. So you said you had lost some weight. How much weight did you actually lose? It's hard to say because my journey wasn't like super linear. Um, Like my heaviest as a uh, standard American dieter, uh, being raw, there's in points in time, there's at least 80 pound gap. Describe your, your athletic abilities now and what you're doing and how the raw vegan diet has helped you on that. I started running ultras in 2016 so it's only been two years I really feel like being this way helps me um, be able to have endurance to train uh, lift weights run all of it I don't think I would have ever won a 50 mile race um, before I started eating this way my recovery that's probably where the biggest difference is I had some slight soreness but I mean not what you'd expect for running basically two marathons in a row. Felt pretty damn good the next day, which I do not think would happen if I had been fueled on processed food. Like, there's days where I'll, you know, run 10 miles, do a hot yoga class and lift weights, and I still have energy. And I just don't ever remember having those kinds of feelings um, eating on any other diet. Almost limitless energy that I, I seem to get from eating fruit. Is it worth it to, to do the raw vegan diet, in your opinion? And if, you know, because we've, we've already taken that jump and we've already gone through the initial hard part, you know? Yeah. And so, and so now we know how to do it. So for somebody who's like, I don't know, it seems kind of difficult. Like, do you have any tips or advice when they first start out? I definitely think it's worth it. For me, there are a couple things that I continually messed up in my two and a half years trying to transition. Number one, I didn't eat enough fruit. Whenever I consumed high amounts of fat, I suffer. My digestion slows. um, I feel sluggish, heavy, slow. Um, And worst of all, when I consume lots of overt fats, it causes me to have cravings. And when you have cravings, it's super hard to fight them. Eventually, it seems like they always win. Next thing for me was salt. Um, Salt in my food, whether it was in the form of aminos, miso, or tamari, or namashoyu, or just actual salt does cause me to bloat and get puffy. Again, it also causes cravings. Eliminating salt helped me. Um, Eliminating alcohol from drinking, even if it's a little, it just makes you care a little bit less about your commitments. And at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to stay raw if you just cut it out. So it's really cool to see how your body can change. Incredible the results you can get. It's just incredible. Like, and you see people healing diseases. Totally worth it. Just see what happens for you. Like, it's it's magical. When it comes to the raw vegan diet, what is your absolute favorite part? How easy it is. I used to think it was hard because it was new and so it was unknown, and I didn't really get it. But I mean, it's so easy. Like, you just grab fruit and go. Like, I grabbed two bags of grapes and go like that's it like i there's nothing to clean up or do or plan like it's so easy it's you don't even have to think about it it's just so easy cut a watermelon in half and eat the whole thing it doesn't have to be hard do you think you would be right now if you had never found the new way of eating honestly i imagine i would have just given up thinking Like, it's just not possible. Like, I don't have the right genetics or whatever. It's more about what you're actually putting into your body. Anyways, I'm really glad I found it. Well, thank you so much. I know that it's been so busy for you, and I so appreciate it. You've always taken time for me, and I appreciate it. Of course, anytime. (laughs) 
Wasn't that interview with Megan awesome? Can you see how the raw vegan diet has changed her life? Are you getting this? So here's what Megan wanted and achieved. She started the raw vegan diet because she wanted to experience this euphoria that she heard other people experiencing, and she did. She also discovered that in her training, while she did raw vegan, her body heals so much faster. She also found that she had increased endurance and energy to be running her ultra marathons. How crazy is that? She also figured out how to reduce the swelling and puffiness in her face, which I did too. I mean, nobody wants to wake up looking like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. She also improved her digestion and bloating, and she was able to get rid of her allergies. Plus, she was able to lose 80 pounds. Would you guys like to lose a few pounds? Can you see why I'm so excited about the raw vegan diet? Can you see yourself getting the same type of results that Megan got? And I didn't realize when I started that not only was this a way to exercise less and lose weight, but it was also a way to achieve more results from your efforts and to have way more energy and more health, plus to reach like that natural euphoria. And that's why I created Raw Vegan Secrets. Creating these secrets has been over like an 18 year process. It has cost me tens of thousands of dollars and not just the money that's involved, but the time, the wasted time that I spent exercising my life away when I could have been enjoying life or spending time with my kids. I was exercising, trying to find ways to be thin and just totally unhappy. I felt like I wasted a good portion of my life, but now that I've come to where I am now, I realize it wasn't wasted. It was a, it was a learning journey and I was able to learn these things so that I can compile it all together and I can give it to you guys so that you guys do not have to go through what I went through and you can reach your health and fitness goals and have that vitality, have that vitality, that happiness, that energy with so much less effort than what it took me to achieve. And if it helps you guys, it is so worth it to me because then those 18 years were not wasted trying all the wrong things. No, it, it was beneficial if it can help others. So please put in the comments down below if you find this useful, how I can make this more meaningful, you, meaningful to you guys and more helpful. So overcoming false beliefs is really hard, but the raw vegan secrets makes it easy to overcome those false beliefs that we have about exercising and diet. You know, what used to take me six months to a year to achieve after having a baby, as far as my figure goes, I've been able to achieve in the last two pregnancies in two to three months. In fact, my eighth baby, she's two and a half months old right now, and I'm already just about to my pre-pregnancy weight, and I'm in all my pre-pregnancy clothes. So that is a major victory. So here's what I've discovered the raw vegan secrets will do. It restores your health so that you can lose the weight naturally. It improves your digestion and reduces bloating so that when you wake up in the morning, you can have a flat tummy and not feel like groggy and gaseous and bloated. It releases your body fat so that you can break through those mental barriers and reach those dreams that you never thought possible. Think of Megan who runs ultra marathons. Do you have dreams or major victories that you just want to achieve? Wouldn't it be easier to reach those goals if you felt substantially healthier and had way more energy? Are you ladies getting this? So the raw vegan secrets helps you to get these little victories that start to gain momentum so that you can achieve the big victories. So you can lose the weight, so you can have energy, and most importantly, so you can enjoy the journey. And the raw vegan secrets helps you to improve your self-love, your self-confidence, so that you can be a better wife, a better mother, and make a positive impact in other people's lives. Let me ask you a question. If you don't take care of your body, where else are you going to live? You don't just have to take my word for it. I have shared with you three case studies of women who have had amazing results following the raw vegan diet. Look at Megan. She found euphoria by eating the raw vegan diet. She improved her endurance, which allows her to run ultra marathons. We're talking 100 miles, people. And she does it because she loves it. She does it because it's, it is her passion. Wouldn't it be awesome to have that much energy to do something that you are truly passionate about and that you enjoy? She was also able to get rid of the bloating and swelling in her face and her intestines. She was able to improve her digestion. She got rid of her, her allergies and she was able to lose 80 pounds to boot. Wouldn't you like to lose a few pounds? Are you ladies getting why I'm so passionate about the raw vegan secrets diet? And then look at Erin from our last training. She discovered that eating fruits just made her so happy. And she thought it was kind of a fluke until her husband started eating fruit too. And he was like, no, really, it does make you happier. 
Erin was also able to clear up her skin conditions, which I had a similar experience. If you look on my Instagram, I have posts where I show the acne on my face and how it's cleared up. Wouldn't it be awesome to no longer have to worry about zits anymore? Erin was also able to overcome some of the eating disorders she had. Now, we all kind of have eating disorders in some form, whether it's simply maybe overeating or eating a lot of processed foods that cause us to have insane cravings or give us headaches or make us just not feel so good or feeling like we've entered a food coma because of the food we've eaten. We all experience some negative effects from food at times and it's traced back to the food that we're eating. And when you eat the food in the raw vegan secrets diet, you just don't experience that. Think about it. You have a vehicle, you have a car. Don't you wanna put the best gas into it? Because if you put good gas into it, it runs smoothly for you. If you put bad gas in, it splutters and it struggles and it dies. So we need to put clean fuel into our bodies so that we can optimize our efforts and reach our health and fitness goals that we so greatly deserve and desire to achieve. And then there's Rebecca from Training One. She's probably the most dramatic case study I have done so far. Rebecca said that she was able to stop the progression, reverse the damage, and thrive successfully after multiple sclerosis and Hashimoto's disease. For those of you that don't know, Hashimoto's is a condition where your immune system attacks your thyroid and your thyroid controls your hormones. So she was on medication for that for so long and she ended up discovering that she was overdosing her thyroid medication as she was doing the raw vegan diet because the raw vegan diet was healing her thyroid problems. And her multiple sclerosis completely paralyzed her on one side. Like overnight, she woke up paralyzed. Can you imagine that? And she had to relearn how to write, how to type, how to walk, how to run, how to do all these things, how to drive a car. And she was able to do it. And she found greater results in healing through the raw vegan diet than through the doctor's prescribed medications. She was also able to balance out her blood sugar, relieve the episodes of depression, anxiety, panic attacks, acid reflux. She cleared up her skin of chronic acne. She no longer had painful periods and she was able to lose the weight and no longer be on the path to morbid obesity. She claims that the raw vegan lifestyle literally saved her life. If you watch Rebecca's case study, you would never guess that she was in such bad shape. She is truly amazing. Are you vegan boss ladies starting to see the power of healing your body so that it can naturally cleanse itself and release the toxins? Are you starting to see how what you eat makes up 90% of your results and that you really can exercise just a moderate amount to achieve your goals? Once you realize this truth, it sets you free of the frustration of not reaching your goals because you no longer have the mile long list of excuses like, it's not in my genes, I, I just can't exercise, I don't have 10 hours a day to do it. Can you see how freeing it is to just substitute a process that you're already doing? You're already eating. Just substitute it with the right kinds of foods and that small little change will make it so that you can get the results you want. Once you understand this truth, the chains that hold you down will be broken and you will be free. Before you get started on your raw vegan journey, let me ask you a question. If all this did was increase your self-confidence, would it be worth it? If all this did was improve your happiness, would it be worth it? If all this did was help you to lose just a few pounds, would it be worth it? Of course it would. Just imagine what your life will be like when you know how to eat right, exercise in moderation, and lose weight. You have a choice. You can decide right here, right now, to take action, to shed the weight, to restore your health and vitality. Just imagine how you'll feel after losing five pounds, 50 pounds, however much you need to lose. Just imagine what it would be like to look in the mirror knowing that you are restoring your health. Just imagine how happy you'll feel as your body's ailments start disappearing. Girlfriends, are you getting this? Can you see yourself starting a new journey? How awesome would that be? So little warning here, let's just be blunt. If you don't start your raw vegan journey right now, will you be able to lose weight? Given my experience, Probably not. You'll probably just keep struggling, trying to figure out how to exercise in moderation and still be able to lose weight. Most of what you need is instruction and encouragement from somebody who has been there and done that at losing the weight and restoring their health. The greatest gift I can give you as a coach 
is to help you realize that you don't have to be stuck. Reaching your health and fitness goals is totally possible when you get on the right path. Think about it. If you're in Detroit, Michigan, and you had a map of Los Angeles, how effective would that map be? Think about it. How happy would your body be if you followed the health and fitness industry map of exercise more, eat less, and eat our low nutrient food? Don't you think your body would kind of go into a fight or flight response with that insanity? Just to see how crazy the health and fitness industry is, here's a little experiment for you. Go ahead and punch the person right next to you. Did you do it? So did you get a positive response? Did you get what you wanted? You know, we punch our bodies by starving and over-exercising, expecting to get what we want, which is thinness, health, and vitality. You know, that's what like thugs and bullies do. They try to get what they want through abuse. So let's start a new health and fitness journey. So you can start your raw vegan journey now and get the success and the results that you deserve. Can you ladies feel me? Can you see that the first step is to learn how to eat a clean, raw vegan diet? Are you getting how your body can heal itself once you start putting clean fuel in? Raise your hand if you're seeing this. I know I can't see your hand, but raise your hand anyway. Put it in the comments. Can you guys see why I get so passionate about this? It literally changes lives for the better. And I am so excited to share with you our next training, which is next Monday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, where I am going to give you all the tools that you need to make this life-changing experience possible. You definitely want to attend Monday's training because I'm going to pull out all the roadblocks that are blocking you from getting the results that you deserve. Who is jazzed about that? If this training is helping you, please put it in the comments down below. If you had an aha moment and realized that it wasn't your fault that you believed those lies, put it in the comments below. If you can finally see a successful path before you, put it in the comments down below. If you see that starting with your diet is where you need to begin, put it in the comments down below. Come on, vegan boss ladies. I need to hear you. <laughs> Okay, up next is our super secret segment, and I am going to share with you a raw vegan blueprint. You guys wanted to know what I eat in a day, and I, I've created the blueprint for you, and I'm going to share it with you next. Plus, we're going to do our question and answer session, so stick around. All right, you guys, you made it to the super secret segment. Woohoo! So, first things first. I had a question in the group. They wanted to know kind of what I eat in a day, and part of this training is like your raw vegan blueprint, kind of what you can do every day. I want you to visualize eating a raw vegan diet for yourself. So I've put together a little slideshow and it's gonna show you kind of how my raw vegan meals go from season to season, from spring, summer, fall, winter, because you know, I think the way you eat kind of changes seasonally. In the summer when there's lots of fresh produce, you tend to focus more on really simple things and just eating a lot of fruit. In the winter, we're cold and we want something warm and comforting. So we switch to more prepared meals that, that provide more of that comfort food that we're looking for. So take a look at my slideshow and envision yourself eating it and let me know what you think.
All right. So what did you think of that? Do you think you could eat like that? Like through the season, seeing how like in the winter you can have like a, like a warmed raw chocolate and you can have like more like festive desserts and warmed meals. Like it really can be very satisfying. And in the summer, it's just eating an abundance of fruit. It really makes you feel so good. So let's go on to our Q and A session. Okay, Pam, so you mentioned that you struggle sometimes doing raw vegan, especially in the winter months because of being cold. And that time is really an issue for you. So I feel you on the time. Time is always an issue for me. So I've mentioned this in my other, in my other trainings that what I do is I just make my smoothies in the morning and I prep my dinner when I have a free moment before dinner time. And then that way I can just, I carry my smoothies with me wherever I go. And I don't mind if they get to room temperature because it helps me not freeze to death. And I still think they taste delicious. So just prep in the morning, take it with you. Like really it's the easiest thing possible. You also mentioned that you feel bloated and tired a lot and really switching to more of a fruit diet will really help with that. Your body, you know, you have certain um, like gut biome going on in your, in your stomach when you eat certain ways. And so switching your diet at first can cause some problems with, with bloating or digestion, but it goes away. Really it does. Like I have no problems. And at first I did have a little bit of, you know, st tummy digestion problems, but not anymore. So just stick with it. Give it a good shot and you will feel so much more energy and you will feel so much better. And you mentioned that you like to like have a meal plan and follow things for a while. So in my Raw Vegan Secrets book, you'll, there will be the option to get the meal plan, to get the grocery list. It is all laid out for you so that you can get started and you can give it a good, honest try. All right, Maritza, you asked if I keep my fats to a certain time of day. I do them throughout the day because I want to feel good throughout the day. Really, I just like to space it out. And then you also asked how I keep track of my macros. And so the way I initially kept track of my macros was in chronometer on the internet, you know, and I have an app on my phone for chronometer and it was really helpful. Um, I figured out how to eat to eat in a, in a way that made me feel good. And so I don't track anymore because I know what to do to keep my macros where I need to be. If I have a time frame where I'm like not eating how I normally do and I'm switching a little bit, then I'll go back to chronometer. I'll retrack to see what I'm doing to get back to where I want to be. Does that make sense? All right, Maritza, you also asked if I will show you what I ate in a day. And I did in my slideshow. Um, if you want to see like actual like real time vlog of what I ate in a day, I have some on my YouTube channel, but I also have um, vlogs set up so that when you go through to get the free Raw Vegan Secrets book, there is the option to get some vlogs so that you can have day by day help from me in vlog form. So Kasha, you asked how much fat you would need to feel content, but still be able to lose weight. And for me, Everyone's different. For me, I get about 15% fat. That's where I feel content, satiated, but still losing weight and hitting my goals. So it's something that you have to work on and figure out for yourself. If you find that like by one or 2 p.m. you're like so hungry, try upping your fruit. Try increasing um, your calorie intake first before you increase your fat because as you get too much fat, there can be certain problems that occur. So I would just be mindful of that. And Kesha, in my Raw Vegan Secrets book that's coming out that you guys are getting for free, I have the nutrition facts. I have it all mapped out. It is like perfectly a week with perfect nutrition and the right calories, the right macros. Everything's there for you, so it'll make it so easy for you to get started. Crystal, you asked how you can do raw vegan efficiently. So for me, what I do is I buy my stuff at Costco and I buy in bulk and I use a lot of frozen fruit because I can just buy a big bag at Costco and then I use it to make my smoothies. And then when I make my dinners, I also buy the vegetables at Costco. I put them in like Debbie Meyer green boxes, different things like that, so that they stay good for the whole week. Also, Crystal, in my Raw Vegan Secret Cookbook, it will have it so that all the food that is needed is really the stuff that you normally would have. So it's not like you have to make any really expensive special purchases. It's all your normal grocery groceries and I try to make it too so that the recipes maybe I would use different ingredients in different recipes but I try to keep them all similar so that you know you can buy one package of green onions and you can buy one bag of this and one bag of that so that you're using the ingredients you bought you don't have to buy extra ingredients just to make one recipe like it's all inclusive so it really tries to help save on your budget and on your wallet. Karen, my friend, you asked what I found to be the hardest thing or the biggest adjustment when I went to RAW. And probably for me, it was not having that warm cooked meal at night. I really like having, you know, like that warmer, saltier meal. But since, um, since doing raw for long enough, like I don't, it's kind of like what Megan said, when you cut out the salt, I don't add salt to anything or any of those salt like substitutes. Um, and so my taste buds have totally shifted and I prefer the flavors without the salt now. So now it's not, it's not hard at all. Also not having so much fat. Like I really, I enjoyed having a higher fat diet, but um, 
cutting out the fat really does inc increase your energy, so it's worth it. But I did have a hard time cutting my fat down at first. All right, Veronica, you asked if I try to stay in a certain calorie range every day. And I generally try to stay around 1,800 calories. I'm not perfect at it, and so some days I don't get enough, and then some days I get too much, but that's about where I try to stay. And Veronica, you asked, what are some benefits that I'm seeing now that I'm been raw? Um, okay, so weight loss skin, the appearance of my skin, it's it's night and day difference between doing raw and not doing raw. Energy, way more energy. Attitude, mood, depression, all of that. You guys, like I, I did get some postpartum depression after I had my baby girl because we got evacuated from our house. We had some major traumatic life experiences right after she was born. And so the postpartum depression triggered, but I, my husband, he knows, he knows that fruit makes me happy. And so he has just been shoving the fruit down my throat and I have been taking it in and no more depression is gone. So definitely improves my mood. And it also, um, no aches and pains in my joints. Like I was having really bad arthritic pain again after I had Eva and it's gone. Like I don't have it anymore. I also don't have restless legs anymore. I don't have the muscle cramps anymore. Um, God, the list goes on and on. Truly, it does. Allergies, sinus congestion, like all those things go away when I eat raw. And and that's one of the main reasons why I do it because there are so many benefits besides losing weight. It's just how you feel inside that is just so powerful to me. And that's why I keep doing it. All right, so that wraps up our Q&A session for today. I hope I answered your guys' questions. Put some more questions down below so I can answer them in our next Q&A session. And I will see you guys on Monday, Monday, 6 p.m. I can't wait. See you then.